Hello everyone, my name is PJ and this is my friend Tyler and welcome back to the, the Insane, Insane Trilogy. Trilogy Part 16 and we just learned something. Um, the gem that we got in Stormy Ascent really is an extra gem. The maximum number in the menu doesn't go up. It's just a spare gem. So there are still four more gems to get despite what the menu says. Mm -hmm. So we might not be able to finish it this week. Might not. It depends on how how fast we can do these stages. Yeah, Cortex Power is the hardest one of the four, so I'm going to try and get it done first. Yes. And quickly. Yes. Uh, the shortest will probably be um, the second hog stage, probably. But if we end up getting all four of these in this episode, uh, we might as well just go and do the, the ending and just call it there. Because, I, like, why would we want to have an episode with just the ending? Just one extra long episode for the week, where you see the last four gems... And the ending credit sequence. Again. <laughs> oh, with the new ending added in. Yes. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember how to get all the gems in this level. And now you have to go this way first, and then you have to go backwards at a couple points. Yeah, because they have, um... Yeah, it's a bit, a, bit, a bit of moving around and going back and forth and stuff. Yeah. But again, these jumps are easier now that you have better air control. Yeah. So I'll go this way first, up to the machine gun guy. Yeah, why did why did uh, Neo Cortex design anti gravity platforms just to be used in like the most mundane of places? <laughs> like, I don't know. It must not use that much energy at all. We got two masks though, so yeah, you know how bad these things are though. But you see, they have like lights beneath them oh, now. Oh right. Yeah, to Those show exactly where like they are. Kind of like their shadows. Yeah. Okay. That makes dodging them much easier. Because mm -hmm. they knew how bad that jump was. Okay. Back in 99. I need to... Uh, oh, okay. Cool. You get that yeah. checkpoint, then you have to head back, right? Yes. Yeah. Back this way. Yep, and then you're going to go around and... Uh... Whoa! There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's the gem pad. There's the gem pad, but we need to go backwards this way, too. I don't believe... Oh, no, there's one... Is there one crate, maybe? Back down that way? There might not be anything. Actually, if I'm recalling correctly, I think it's just a life sitting out in the middle of the open. Yeah, because I don't believe there's any crates back here. I'm going to check anyway. Up, oh, yep. What do you know? It's just a life sitting out in the middle of the open, exactly as I predicted. Yeah, I mean, and we're just jumping back, and yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, back at it. the fork. Yeah, so we know we don't have to go that way. <laughs> Still got both my masks. Still yes. haven't died yet. Do you know what the number one selling game on the PlayStation 1 was? What? Forza. What's Forza? Oh, it's a car game. It's like a car It's a car simulation game. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Does that thought be interesting to you to know that, that that's like... It's actually still one of Sony's biggest selling products, is the Forza series. Yeah. Okay. I remember getting Invincibility here a lot. <sighs> well, you know, you and I need to make sure that it runs out before a certain point, right? I think so, if I remember correctly. Well, I'm not going to get it now because we can do it deathless now, so I don't have to recollect all the masks. You know, I think about it. It may actually be Gran Turismo. I'm thinking of that's the number one. I'll have to look it up later. But it's, it's, it is it is a it is a car game, either Gran Turismo or. Uh, Forza, one of the two. What does Forza even mean? Do you think I know? I don't know anything about cars. You know more than me. Just because I drive a car doesn't mean that I know anything about cars. But you're right, probably a little more than you do. Oh, that wasn't so terrible. No. I mean, I died once, but... Now you gotta go back, though. Yeah. Do I for yes, this part? Yes, you do. Oh, right, I remember now. Yeah, there's, a, yeah, there's another crate back here. And this was the hardest part. Yeah, these jumps. Yeah, you know that doesn't work. Oh, there should be... You got... Wait, no. Did you get the box already? I think you knocked the enemy into it and got it. Yeah, I guess you did. Huh. Alright. Is this the... 
Really? That was really delayed. Like, that was okay. really delayed. Let me go forward this way and see what's... Well, maybe, maybe there isn't a box there. No, I swear, you remember going back there, don't you? Wow. I think I remember trying to go back there a couple times and realizing that it wasn't worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there. No, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. So I must have knocked an enemy into these. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So now, yeah. I mean, getting back should be a little easier than in the original game. I know it was nearly impossible back then. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll just go this way, and we'll go backwards later. At least we know where it is now. I'm not gonna worry about uh, missing anything this time. <sighs> still love that green goop though. Like that is that is still some beautiful green goop. I would like to have some of that green goop for myself. That doesn't involve me buying Coke products. Why don't you guys imagine do more yellow? Like this is the bottle that makes it look green. Yeah. Yeah. Mountain Dew is actually yellow. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. I didn't see it because it was up in the air. I just seen this pretty cool like design for a lighter. It was a it was a Tesla coil lighter. Which is pretty cool. So like, it, oh, it looked it looked really neat, really neat though. I mean, I have no use for it, but it'd be really cool to have a Tesla coil. I almost walked right into that thing. No, you can't make that jump. All right, couldn't do that in the original. Well, if you can't jump over both of them, then why did you say that jumping between them was impossible when I attempted it? Well, because I I because uh, I, I remember you trying to do that before, and you could never do it in the original. And that's what I was trying to say. Is that, you know, but jumping over them, I didn't know it was possible either. Because I mean, the way I always did it, and the way that we did it originally, was we would jump to the side, you know. Into oh, the, oh, into the yeah, sides. Okay. Yeah. But you've shown that you can actually do it, you know, the, the, that way too, just by jumping through it. It's yeah. Probably just easier in this version. Yeah. Then that should be the end of the stage, right? Yeah. You gotta oh do it no, this. we still have to do this. Yeah. But this should be much easier. There you go. Look at that. You have four crates to finish it off. Okay, hardest gem uh, for us right now is done. Hardest of the remaining gems complete. Yes. And that took eight minutes. Yes. Which means that the other stages take less. We should be able to finish this within a relatively reasonable time. Mm-hmm. Agreed. But still, are we gonna? Is this gonna end with 101 percent, or is it gonna end with 100? That's uh, that's interesting. I do think it's kind of neat though that the the DLC stage does give you a bonus gem though. But why would anyone go for the bonus one over? Like, I don't even think speedrunners would go for that. Go for that, you know? Because like it, it's so long, you'd, you'd waste time. Okay, the next hardest gem to get is from Whole Hog. Whole hog. Which will be the last stage we play in this game, other than the Great Hall with Crash. Yep. <sighs> At least I don't have to do a Deathless. The only reason we went back to the beginning so many times with the other hog stage is because we kept running out of lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a great start! Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so not. Happy. I'm not used to these wavy hog lag. Hog lag. <laughs> hog lag. Is that a thing? Is that an official? Is that a scientific term? Yeah, because even with the improved controls that we have, I mean, there still is some noticeable lag with the hog. Uh, I, it, it's just the way it's designed. Oh. oh, but I have to hold down the jump button on that one. Yeah. The sproingy, doingy, like, freaking hog music. Yeah, but as long as I get all of the crates before I hit a checkpoint, then this stage shouldn't be all that tough. Good. Yes, yeah, so you're good. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Oh, oh, clever, clever. You actually did that right. Oh, oh, oh. Dang. Nice. You're crushing it. You're done. Whoa! Yeah, you're done already. That was easy. Yeah, is it really? Why easy? was it so hard the first time? I don't know. Well, we did start from a checkpoint. Yeah. At one point, but I didn't die that much. No, no. 
Oh, oh, we're it already did over. go over 100. I okay. knew it would. Okay, okay. We've still got two gems to go, so that's going to be the last 2% that gets us 103%. 103%. I knew it would. <laughs> you didn't believe me. Well, you don't believe me either, so. It was basic math, though. How can you not believe it? Because I thought the game was going to be smart and do something silly. I don't know. Isn't going over 100% already incredibly silly? <laughs> it is, yeah, it is. Okay, Border Dash is easy, so let's do Road to Nowhere next. Road to El Dorado. El Dorado, <laughs> the magnificent <laughs> and golden 1,000 years ago. <laughs> What's an apagio? Is that a real word? El Pagio? Is that a word? I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I think I'm mixing up with something else. Are you thinking of archipelago? No, no, I don't no. think of archipelago. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm thinking of something other word, I think. Uh... Hmm. Of course. Here we go. Time for Bane. What time is it? It's Bane time. What time is it? Bane time. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, coughing is cleared up quite a bit. Yeah. It's because you had me laughing so badly earlier that, um, I coughed a lot at once. Okay. I mean, whenever, back when I actually exercised every day. Um, first ten minutes would be nothing but me coughing and hacking mucus into a trash can. Once that was over, I would feel great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I, my brother does the same thing uh, whenever he does does any physical labor and stuff. Does it happen when he laughs, too? Uh, not when he laughs, no. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just sort of, I, I know, just, just, just some, with some people, I don't know. I should probably go see my brother, because I haven't seen him in a while. Borrow the Cowboy Bebop DVDs for me. <laughs> well, we're here. Yep. And I uh, remember that this gem path is a little tricky. Is it a little puzzle like? Yeah. A little puzzle like. Yeah. So you have to go. I remember something appears in here. I remember there being something there too. And then you guys walk back to the left, and then it will, uh... Yeah, because this, um, that top center steel crate, you can't see it because it's completely obscured, but it's a switch crate, and you gotta bounce on it. Mm-hmm. You screwed up. You're done now. Oh. <laughs> okay, I forget how to do this. You just have to spin when you get up to the top of there and hit that top crate. That's all. No, just spin it? Yeah, okay. that's all you have to do. Spin it without hitting the TNT crate. Yes, correct. But then how do you get the TNT crate? There's a TNT... It, it, it'll, it'll take care of itself. It'll take care of itself. You'll see. Okay, now you jump on top of that. Okay, there's three... There's four crates. Oh, and it gives you a free Aku Aku mask so that you can destroy the last TNT crate. No, it does that. Oh, right. It just appears out of nowhere. Yeah. It didn't even have a wireframe. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It just, it but then again, other than those four boxes. Nope. So. Weird. There you go. That's like the most cryptic of the, uh... Of, of the regular gem paths. Yeah. Yes. The regular gem paths, yeah. Now, this also has something at the back of it, right? Where you go, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I go beyond the exit. Beyond the beyond? That's a game, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, beyond the beyond. And you checkpointed it, too, so that's good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a Super Nintendo RPG, I think. Beyond the Beyond is. Uh, Along with like a... Live a Live. Live a Live and um... What's the other one that everyone always talks about being really good? Lufia? Um, there's, well, there's Lufia. That's one I have to get to. But Final like, Fantasies 4 through 6. Secret of Mana. Dragon Quest 5 and 6. It's not... No, no. It's 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 more uh, obscure than that. Um, obscure, huh? Yeah, obscure RPGs on the Super Nintendo. There's more than that. There's um... I mean, Lufia is pretty obscure. Uh, but, what's it called? It's called... <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue. I'll, I'll remember it. Do you know anything about it? Other, I, I, I got it in my head, I know what it looks like. It's just, I can't remember... Is it part of the Saga series? It's not Saga, no. Oh. It's... Uh... It's more of an action RPG. Uh, than anything else, it involves 
Oh gosh, wait. I, I, I'll get it. I'll get it. I swear. I'll remember it. I swear. Give me a chance. It's... Um... Damn it. Okay, I can't remember it. There's, there's two RPGs in particular that were on the Super Nintendo, which everyone always talks about being great, and I always forget what they're called. Always. Uh, and it sucks because, like, they're good games, and I want to play them someday to completion. Yeah, you can actually see the shadows beyond the exit crate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just gotta step on this. And it just takes you over to here because now there's invisible pathways. <sighs> yeah, you can walk out to the one path from the um I forgot. Yeah. I mean I thought there would be apples there, like every step of the way. Well there is or, an apple there. Or it or the are the one fruits to um Really? Are the one fruits to indicate the gaps and not the platforms? I'm pretty sure they're just there to indicate the platforms. But you weren't even close to where the where the uh one fruit were though, so just gotta get your uh, your spacing a little bit better. I think it begins with Terra. I think the one RPG on the Super Nintendo. I think it begins with Terra. Ah, whatever. So, so just step forward. Yeah, there should be a platform. See? Now you can jump to those ones. Well, there should be a double platform, right? I think there's only one apple, so I think it's only one. See, there's two. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. <sighs> this is a hard time uh, jumping stuff like that. Terra I think that's what it was called. Terra I think. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I think I got it. Terra Enigma. All right. So what? Mysterious land. Yeah. I think it, I think it's called Terra Enigma. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. There. And they even put another exit here. Is that new? Uh, I think that is new, yeah. I think before there wasn't an extra exit. You just have to go backwards from here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. Oh, one gem left. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up, actually. Because I wanna, I wanna actually know this Super Nintendo RPGs, because I'm really, really bothered that I can't remember them. Remember them. 102%. Now, we're at 26 gems, but the Stormy Ascent makes 27. So, once we beat this next stage... Uh, it should say 27 out of 26 in the menu. We've still got 12 minutes. And it's not even a hard stage, it's just a border stage. Correct, yes. I was actually wrong. I was way off. The two games I was thinking of were Illusion of Gaia and Secret of Evermore. Oh. You know, if you'd let me continue guessing, I probably would have named those eventually. Yeah, you probably would have, yeah. But Illusion of Gaia, to Terra... Yeah, it's still like Earth-based. I don't know. I don't know how I got that mixed up. But... Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You know say? The gem path is at the end of the stage. Are you done on your phone? Uh, just give me a second. Give me a second. There you go. I'm done on my phone. So all I had to do is reach the end of this stage and the gem path will be there. Correct. Just gotta make sure I get all the boxes on the way. And that should be hard for you at this point, considering how easy the stage is to begin with. I mean, yeah, you're already making it, so... <laughs> I'm, I am glad there, is a, there isn't as many cryptic secrets. And, well, actually, there isn't really any cryptic secrets in this game compared to 3, though. Or even 2, for that matter. There were just so many of those back in the day. I mean, you're making it. I mean, that's the end of the stage, right? Nope, not no. quite. A little bit more? Okay. Strange that the, uh, the, the wood breaking, apart from the boulder, it doesn't actually react to real physics. It just sort of breaks, and that's it. Why isn't she uh, scared anymore, I wonder? She's not doing the having the scared face. 
A little different. I think they should always have that throughout the entire stage. Wait, was it in that exact space? I don't... Huh. Probably was. Okay, you can see the two crates up there at the beginning, so... You have no excuse to just destroy these and miss them. Because they're right there, you know, you, you kind of have to, you kind of have to get those, the only way around it. Hmm? Oh, the, the, no, didn't that happen before? When that, I think that happened before when we played originally, too. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. It takes you all the way back here. A lot hmm. of running, but it's okay. Uh, dude, we're still gonna, we're still running on good time. We're gonna have more than enough time to sit through the credits again. What time are we at? 21 minutes and 59 seconds. Oh god. My elbow hurts. Why does it hurt? Because it's. I'm. I'm. Instinctively, like, pushing it into the arm of my chair. <laughs> well, we're almost in, done. In order to keep my hands steady. We're almost done, dude. You just have to. Just a few more minutes. This is the last thing you have to do. Can you actually kill a flower? <laughs> Can you be a heartless monster and, just, and kill a flower innocently? Well, it depends. How many white friendliness pellets do I have to dodge first? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you just took it the easy way? Okay. Yeah, shit ton of lives. Get me back up to 99. You're already at 99. Oh, I was at 98, actually. Okay. But there we go. 99 yeah. lives. 103%. Okay, that, that's it. That's that's that, that's the game. Yep, that's the game. 27 gems, 103% complete. Yep, now we're just going to go to the Great Hall to watch the non-canon ending. Yep, the the, the, the prize. Non-canicity. <laughs> the non-canonicity. It's not even like the cool kind of non-canicity where they have like spin-off novels about it. At least moving across the board is actually a little bit faster than it used to be. All right, here we go. The Great Hall. Crash only. So tell me this is actually the last time you're going to play as Crash. Temporarily. Yep. Return here when you've earned every clear gem. Or, if you have the DOC, all but one of them. All but one of them. <laughs> well, you know, that gem probably doesn't make a gem platform appear here. Most likely, yes. But it would be funny if there was just an extra one put in here, just, just it doesn't even do anything, like it's just, it's just put there. Again I ask, who made this tapestry? Yes. Like seriously. And... I don't think Neocortex has a, has a bandicoot fetish, I don't <laughs> really understand. Who knows what Cortex's fetishes are? <laughs> but, seriously, and, and what's more... Who made Tana's shirt? Because it's got a picture of Crash's face on it. She had it in the opening cutscene. Mm -hmm. When did she get it? Did she ask someone for it? Did she make it herself? And... Hold, Crash... Hold on, I have so many questions about the story of this game now. The beginning of the game... Crash being put into the Cortex Vortex was what drove him insane, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, does but Tana still love him? Now that he's like this? <laughs> or does she not know about it yet, and when she finds out after the ending... That's why that's, she that's, goes that's, that's why she leaves. Because <laughs> Crash is crazy now. Sorry, but it's morally bankrupt for anyone to date a mentally handicapped person. <laughs> I mean, unless that's not what actually happened. Like, unless Crash was always just like this. Like, I, I, I don't know. But then what was the point of the Cortex Vortex scene in the beginning? Was it just the fact that Crash is insane that it didn't work on him? Maybe? I don't know. But it says they didn't test it, though. So, like, I mean, they couldn't have mutated all those creatures because, like, they said it was never tested. Well, here's the curtains. Oh, they wait oh. till you get up okay. to them for them That's to open up. Different. 
Didn't you get this? I did, yeah. But I'm just saying that, like, I don't remember it doing that. Um, okay. <laughs> Papu stole the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. Yeah, so it's the same as before. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the well-received book, Through the Eye of the Vortex, A Study of Rapid Evolution and Its Consequences. Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. <laughs> Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for his upcoming gubernatorial campaign. Same stuff. Same stuff as before. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Brio rediscovered his first love. Tending bar. Mm -hmm. I think that ellipses is new. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are hard to squash and cockroaches. But we didn't foil his plans! We left him alone! <laughs> yeah, we didn't do We anything. just left! We just left. <laughs> well, we took all the... all the gems. But he wasn't even using the gems. I, yeah, but there's the thing, you don't even get the credits with that ending. Oh, really? Yeah, it just puts you back to the map. I actually forgot about that to this very moment. But it I guess that makes it even more non-canon. Yeah, see, there you go. That's why I did the bonus ending before I did the final boss. But yeah, let me um go into any random stage real quick. Just real quick. What are you going to do? Open the menu. See if it says 27 out uh, of 26 gems. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? If it says that. And we're still under 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. 27, 27 out of 26. 26. Okay. Only eight platinum relics, but that's fine. Yeah, who cares? Honestly. <sighs> in fact, well, in fact, the relics are the same thing. It only has 26. Well, the, so. it should say 27 out of 26, 26 once you yeah. get them all. Yeah. Yeah. But wow. No, but honestly, like we said, fantastic game. Great playthrough. 103%. Play and uh, next, next session, we'll be starting uh, Crash, Crash 2. 2. Yep. Uh, which I played little. I've only played the first stage of in the remake, so uh, this should be a good fun because I'll actually be playing. I'll, and there's gonna be a lot more death involved because I'll be playing. Oh God. Yes. Uh, you think after beating Crash One a hundred percent, then you'd be better at this? No, I'm not bad. I'm not. Dude, you don't. You didn't watch my freaking live stream. I died like so many hundred times. You have no idea. I died so much. Oh, anyway, Crash One complete. But this let's play is only a third of, maybe not even a third. There's are still two longer games to go. Mm -hmm. So, thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because we really appreciate it. If you want to support us on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video, and a link in the description below, alongside links to our social media and Tyler's Twitch account. Hope to see you there. So, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. But no, Crash is, like, incredibly, like, humanoid from, like, the waist down. But then you look up, and it's like, uh, what, what is that massive orange pixel that they call it? face and not the body. He's an anthropomorphic Dorito chip. MLG. <laughs> well, we are in like, a sea of Mountain Dew right now, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it's just as dangerous. <laughs>